Downtown and Midtown have become destination hotspots over the past few years, and advertisers want in on the action. If you spend any time downtown, you have no doubt seen many of these huge ads on the walls of more than 100 buildings. The only problem, it is illegal. Defender Kevin Dietz reports a federal lawsuit has been filed to force the city to take action. They are big, bold, and all but three ads which were grandfathered in are illegal. Hundreds of buildings with wall ads are in violation of the city ordinance, which local Ford legal expert Neil Rockine says is crystal clear. The ordinance itself says no signs. It says it shall be unlawful to erect or create a sign. You can't get any more, any more clear than that. So if they're illegal, why are the wall signs still all over downtown Detroit? Activist Robert Davis says because it's big money and no one is stopping them. They're, they're bringing in and generating at least $100,000 a month. And you have to ask yourself, who's profiting from these huge billboards? The defenders told you last March about the failure to enforce the law. We showed you this letter from City Council Member Mary Sheffield saying she knew about this problem since 2012. The mayor's office insisted the problem would be resolved quickly. And in September, this letter from Building and Safety Director David Bell was sent out to every building owner with an illegal sign saying, take them down. The letter from the city puts every building owner in that district on notice that the signs are illegal. Fast forward a full year, and not only did the signs not come down, there are more of them than ever before. Robert so, Davis, who's um, no stranger to so, conspiracy uh, theories or filing lawsuits under his nonprofit organization, A Felon's Crusade for Equality, has his own ideas. In a federal lawsuit just filed, Davis alleges a conspiracy. Davis claims Total Outdoor Advertising collects large ad revenues and pays building owners to use their walls, and also pays Detroit Regional Chamber President Dennis Archer Jr. a large consulting fee. They've hired him and his Ignition Media Group uh, to basically be their buffer to allow them to illegally erect these huge billboard signs. In the lawsuit obtained by the defenders, Davis claims the city is allowing the illegal activity in exchange for campaign contributions. When you examine the public records that exist in the campaign finance, you have the mayor as well as many members of the Detroit City Council profiting from Dennis Archer Jr. and some of his associates. Davis asking the federal court to step in and put a stop to it. Hopefully that some law enforcement agencies can examine the record and see exactly these individuals that's violating the law. Neil Rockine examined the Davis lawsuit. He agrees the wall ads are illegal, but calls the allegations against Archer and the city overly aggressive. Many of those claims will end up on the, the cutting room floor once federal court judge gets his or her hands on, on, a, on a motion to dismiss. The city, Dennis Archer Jr. and Total Outdoor Advertising chose not to comment on the lawsuit. They will respond vigorously in court. Sources tell me the city has been fining violators and has entered into consent agreements demanding the wall ads come down before January 1st. Robert Davis says his lawsuit is about putting an end to selective enforcement, sending a message to city leaders to either bring these wall ads down or change the law to allow them. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.